get to a developing story out of southwest Detroit, where police are searching for the driver who hit a man crossing the street and then left him to die in an alley. Our Lauren Podell is joining us live now this morning. Lauren, what do we know about this driver? Well, we are learning more information, Evrod, about this developing story. We've been working with our sources overnight to bring you the latest. So here's what we know about the driver that Detroit police are looking for, possibly in a red car, a possible red charger with certainly heavy front end damage and a cracked windshield. So let's get right to the video. This is where police were investigating overnight, actually before 11 p.m. last night. And here's what we know. Sources tell us that the victim is a man in his early 50s. He was crossing the street here at Michigan Avenue in Seacott in southwest Detroit. That's when police say a car hit that man. That man went up onto his windshield, but that driver did not stop. He kept driving for roughly two blocks before police say the driver got out of that vehicle, took the man's body off of the windshield, left it in the car, and took off. Now, if you come back out here live, we are here live at that intersection at Michigan and Seacott, and you can see where the ashes are from where the flares were out blocking this intersection. Of course, the scene has cleared here, but Evrod, as you mentioned, the search for that particular driver is now on this morning. If you have any information, you're asked to call Detroit police. One thing that police have to their advantage is the location of this crash. I mean, if you take a look, Michigan Avenue here in this particular area, completely lined with businesses, particularly this Liberty Tax building that this accident happened right in front of. So police are going to be going business to business. We're hearing, checking out cameras, looking at surveillance to see if they can pin down this driver again a man in his early 50s killed last night by a hit and run driver and we're hearing this was just a gruesome scene Rhonda and Evron and certainly a story we will continue to follow reporting live this morning Lauren Podell local 4 news today